So we've got our base going pretty well, right? But then I opened up this 49 and Market Treasure and I'm probably gonna layer all kinds of things. This is perfect for creating a shaker. We talked about that already. Should probably put a shaker. Well, we have to see how many we have in different clusters. Now this is a very fallsy collection of ephemera die cuts, whatever. Gather's kind of cute. Um, so, you know, not everything will work and that's fine. Not everything has to, we're not gonna harvest them. <laughs> it's not nice to your little petting zoo friends. Golden moments would be cute. I like gather that can maybe go over into this one. So I'm just gonna, ooh, definitely thankful. I love this kind of stuff. Spiced up, no, we're not gonna season our little friends. Remember can work, not pumpkin time. See these different little bits can help bring kind of a layout that doesn't have a lot going on together so nicely. It was summer, fabulous, can work. Fabulous little critters. So this is just that sitch where I'm like, all right, what do we have? What can I try to make work? And not everything will go in here because it, you know, can get a bit overwhelming if I do so. But I will definitely try to get whatever I can in here. Oh, I like that. We are explorers. Bountiful harvest. Nope, not, not harvesting them. Oh, there was also this big giant... I like thankful. I already did thankful. Yeah, I'll have it in case. Um, there was a giant cow barn situation there too. And um, it was so cool because there was like five different like generations of, you know, the cow folk, cow folk, <laughs> cow friends. And you got to see the size of some of these bulls. I mean, you see them on TV and whatnot. And for those of you who are farmers, you know, just bear with me. I know I'm ridiculous about this stuff. Um, sorry, fixing my lighting because it was like yellowy right there. Anyway, they can be freaking massive. They're so impressive that sometimes I'm like, you know, you do you. Just so impressed with them. Yep, still playing with my lighting while I talk. Anyway, I get so impressed with the sizes. And then you can see the lineage and the little calves and you know never mind i'm a dork okay so i'm gonna make and eh, why not let's do three shakers so let's shake it up as it were uh let's see definitely want to do this color here that doesn't show enough that's fine there i guess and then do i want to do yep okay so that takes care of different ones of those I can tuck this little green ticket in anywhere. And then I've got a couple little thankfully things. Okay, so hmm. let me see if I can grab a piece of acetate handy dandy. I keep it to the left of my desk and I need to grab just a little bit of using this up too, guys, a little bit of tape. And I'm gonna show you guys or show my subby who asked you grab any kind of frame, make yourself a frame, grab any frame, it does not matter. Pop whatever kind of adhesive you have handy. And like I said, I'm in this season of using up lots of leftover bits. Now this is double-sided tape, but you can use, um, I mean, I would prefer dry adhesive for this. You can use a liquid adhesive. The issue that comes up when you use liquid adhesive with me <laughs> is that when you put your acetate sheet down now acetate sheets we'll talk about that in a minute when you put your acetate sheet down it can kind of spill over onto it and get messy so when i do it and then it'll get on the little clear bits and you know it's not that great these are just some scrapbook.com scissors that they were kind enough to send to me because they are my pails over there um, all right, so then you've got, you just trim it out and you've got your little piece. Just, you know, try not to let any of the acetate hang off the side because, you know, you get a little distracted with it. Grab some foam adhesive. I've got some, I think this is from scrapbook.com as well. And this is the part where it's 
kind of important. You want to make sure, trying to keep out of a glare spot, you want to make sure to go all the way around your opening. And the reason why is if you don't, your sequins or your sprinkles or whatever you have are going to spill out. And then you're gonna be so bummed. So you'll wanna bring your adhesive all the way to the tip of the other one. See how there's a complete well, perfect. Let me move that over there. Gonna grab this sequin mix sequin mix that I just shot everywhere because it's too full. Add some sequins. You don't have to be precious about it. Add as much as you want. Now I have a sequin spoon that I should have just used so the sequins didn't get onto everything like this just did. Okay, then grab next. If you're like me, you have like all these little off cuts of cardstock. I tend to use white in the background. Push it down onto your exposed adhesive. Burnish it with your hand a little bit, which means just squisherate it a little bit. When you flip it back over, you have got a fabulous shaker. Trim around it. Boom, you have got this little cutie shaker and you can see your pretty little bits. Now you can put stickers over it. I do it all the time. You can do it however you want. So I'm gonna create the other ones. I'm gonna layer up all of these bits and I'll meet you right back here, my friends. All right guys, so at this point, I've got all of those pieces we talked about down, except I didn't, you know, didn't use everything. I didn't use these labels, but guys, labels are so useful for other projects. Not worried about it. I got a lot on there. I would not have got on there otherwise. So I have some sequins left. I'm trying to get this little bit. Some sequins left here. I've got these great little like acrylic-y wood buttons and enamel dots. So what I'm gonna do, oh my lanta, I didn't do a title with this. I'm feeling like, I mean, I know this is black, but I don't know. Gosh, what petting zoo was this? This was at Armada? Armada, Armada Fair. I wonder, yeah, I should put Armada Fair in. So I'm gonna do my title. I just realized I didn't get any of this in here. Let me see if there's anything that works. Where the wild ones play might be kind of funny. Um, wild again, apparently wild is a thing. Let's go explore with that cute little rainbow. I'll try to get in. I love this hello friend, because you know, I was pestering the little animals. Take a walk on the wild side might be really cute. Guys, the deal with Echo Park is there are so many wordy bits. Here's another rainbow. I'd like to do that again, kind of bring it out. I'm going to see if I can get this little scrap of um, scallops. Don't need more of that. Wasn't driving. I like this, but yeah, there wasn't an elephant. If there was, I would have played with it. You guys ever ridden? an elephant they are so cool and they're they're like bristly and yes i'm like a child with the animals and that's fine i like myself fun guys this is getting chonky and chonky okay i have that so i have all of those pieces out we have to find out how to tuck them i want to do our made affair here our title if you look at our piece is here so that does work for me to tuck it here then i'm going to sprinkle all these little things here there and everywhere and i'll come back and we'll talk about the finished layout okie dokie my friends that is that i popped on a couple sequins some of those little acrylic -y wood pieces and i think it's fun it was able to get fleshed out pretty well considering i did not have you know like traditional die cuts meaning florals and all that kind of stuff so love it memory documented i'll get some uh still shots to follow is there anything else no guys i'll see you guys ever so soon with another video, hopefully with day 27. Finally. <laughs> Bye guys.